Smells like, to clean it like smells like shit. Times. Smells I'm like so shit. Sorry. I'm Larry. And I'm Joe Bump. And this smells that, like shit. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That's news to us. It stinks in here. Today's top story. What? <laughs> Go ahead. You have it again. You had it last week. Must take this week. Hey, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, wait. Okay. Go ahead. You have it. Today's what? top story. Hey, Joe. <laughs> I wrote that down. Hey, Joe. Have you heard the controversy over Kathy Griffin? I hate that bitch. <laughs> wow. The opinion is right out there right away. I don't like her at all. Joe, <laughs> Joe's already, I hate that bitch. Anyway, you you know what, everything about the whole story? I know that she, I'm sure everybody has heard about this, right? C is for, you know what C is for. Okay. I'm not going to say it, but well, you, you know, know exactly. Rise with Bunt. Yeah, apparently she tried to be funny, right? And she, you know, took a picture and posted it of herself with a severed head of Donald Trump and had ketchup all over it. So I want I, I, I to digress into what her brain's thinking okay. here. Like, in your right mind. Mm -hmm. Well, you know it would be a funny picture? Let me cut the head off of something. <laughs> of somebody. Add, like, I somebody. Mutilated, right. I like I mutilated it and put a picture on social media because I'm a... Uh, an F-list celebrity, stupid. I would call her a C-list celebrity for a different reason, or a B-list celebrity <laughs> if well, you get my drift. Well, she got fired from CNN, well, right? <laughs> well, first of all, what's the world coming to the fact that she's working for CNN? Yes, that is true. And she says now that she was bullied by the Trump family afterwards and everything. Now, well, good. Now, here, here, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm playing devil, devil's advocate. Play it all okay? you want. Uh, it um, should be entertaining. For freedom everybody. of speech. Where, where do we draw the line at? I mean, like, or freedom of expression. Where do we draw the line? And should, and should there be a line? Drawn? She can do whatever she wants. Okay. That's where the freedom comes into play. But okay. guess what, Larry? What when you do something, there's things that come about. What are they called? Consequences. Consequences. I knew the words. Wouldn't it? I know. Keep it I, I know. I know you. But there's consequences when you act like an asshole. You're gonna right. be treated like a freaking asshole. But what do you expect? I'm playing devil's advocate, but by, uh, by no say it again because nobody else knows you're playing devil's but advocate. No, I'm not saying by no means do I want you guys to think that I am okay with what she did because I uh, think I, I think as a human being you cross a line when you do something like that because first of all you're inciting violence. Well, the problem is she crossed the line when she woke up in the morning because she's a stupid bitch. Well, you know, it's funny because I remember her from, it, she, she said that she's going to go after the Trump family even harder. Then, see, I, I, guess, I guess this is what I have a problem with. I have a problem with that she kind of says she's sorry, but then she's acting like she's the victim when she was the one that, all she and she's doing, being bullied, but she's the one that held the She's an attention whore. Up. Is what she is, Larry. And here's the situation. I've met some people I, like that. I know some people like that, and I dealt with them, unfortunately, on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Not as much now as before, but definitely on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, there's some people on Twitter. She, I know what you're talking about. She's an attention whore, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about real life. I'm not talking about Twitter. Uh, but Twitter's so not she real needs life. it. So she needs it no matter what it is. She can be acting stupid, and people are paying attention to her. It's all she cares about. So she's going to put a severed head of Donald Trump, and she's going to apologize for putting a severed head. But then she's going to say, right. well, I'm going after you, Donald Trump. Guess what? Nobody cares. You're Kathy freaking Griffith. Is that even her name? Griffith or Griffin? I don't even know her name. I think it's Griffin. No, I think Kathleen Griffin. Isn't she good looking? Wasn't she in that Batman movie? I think her name's Griffin. Kathleen Griffith. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Nobody our even knows. Our producers you don't matter. That, our producers will look that up right now. But, Joe, as we're saying that, though, it's like... The, and that's the thing with her is that she she apologizes, but not really, because she kind of just made herself out to be the victim on the whole thing. Yeah, of course. I don't know did. if you ever watched Seinfeld, but she was on Seinfeld. Oh my gosh, I did, don't remember her on Seinfeld. Thank but, God. But I hate what's her. funny about that on Seinfeld is like she was attacking Jerry on this on the show, right? And and this just on the show. And then Jerry did something, and then she attacked him even worse. And it's kind of like the Seinfeld show all over again. It's it's it's. Absolutely phenomenal to me that, excuse me, our producer's just like. Uh, just saying it's Griffin. Yeah, it's Griffin. Griffin. It's Griffin. We're going to say Griffin. Griffin. Fifth. Finn. But now, word just came in from the producers, it's Griffin. Yeah. But guess what? She doesn't matter that much. We don't even freaking know no. about it. 
I just say that it's like, but I will always bring up the part of freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Yeah, like, feel free think, to do it. No, no, I'm Don't just saying. Don't bitch me when you get consequences because you're no, an asshole. No, I'm not saying that. It's that you know how I am and my morals and everything else. It's like, I know she crossed the line. I know. I'm not saying But I'm you saying don't. it's like, where is that? Somebody has to make that freaking line. It's like YouTube and everything. It's like, no, make the don't line. Don't need to make the line. No, you're a human being. You know when you cross the line. You're a moron if you think you're going to put a severed head of anybody and it's okay. But you're a freaking moron no. and you deserve everything, you dumb bitch. That's I, how I feel about it. Calm down, buddy. I agree with you. My point is, is though that some people don't understand that. And then it's their fault. They don't know where that line is for they, some reason. I don't know what's going on in their heads. They don't know where head. that line is. Like, you should know where that line is. You should know that, I don't care who it is, you don't do that. I mean, that guy had... Right, I so when care. you wake up in the morning, you think, hey, should I do, you know, maybe I should be... There should be somebody in your court, somebody in your entourage, you moron, saying, you know what, this might not be the best idea. Why don't you just don't sever the head? Right. Or just have his mask and don't put any blood on it, right. you moron. So that my, and you know what? She's famous and makes money for doing what? For being an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> well, my my Sorry. whole my my whole Sorry. point my whole point is that not everybody knows that line, obviously. So I think that there has to be some kind of rules just to show certain people that there is a line. So you're you saying there should cross. be rules for idiots? I think we need. Let that. them suffer. They deserve what they get. Yeah. I mean, you should know that, but I mean, like, not everybody. If you does, don't obviously. know it, then guess yeah. what? You're gonna learn it. Yeah. When I, you know what? You know what? I didn't know fire was hot until I touched the stove and I burnt myself. Yeah. But I mean, it right? has. She just got burnt. But it is blatant though, is because it's like somebody could come close to that and not, you know what I mean? Not not that, but I'm just saying, come with certain humor, and then all of a sudden they're in trouble also because of. You know what I'm saying? It's, no, it's, I, I I don't. I think okay. that these people are idiots and they need to figure it out on their own. Hmm. Like, how did you know that you can drown in water? That I can drown in water? Or that you can't swim when you jump in the water and you realize you couldn't swim? Well, like, there's lines. That, right, there's lines that you cross and then you get your consequences right. and you learn from them. She is ancient. No, she's not a young person. No, she she's not. Better. She right. should know better. Right. You should know better. My Carson knows better. Right. And he's five years old. Anyway, guys, we he's could, not I, we could literally talk about this I don't, I, an I, she, hour I, I at least. But I, not, I don't hate anybody. Well, I really dislike her. Yeah. Well, a lot. And I, and I I don't hate her, but I don't... I, think, I, don't she, I right. think what she did was 100% wrong. I mean, Donald Trump is... I mean, and no matter who it is, any person... Anybody! It has people that love them and people that care about them. So, and you know, when you, mention, when you cross that line, especially as kids, that's and not they to see mention that. the crap that the terrorists and Al Qaeda are doing with the beheadings of, of people and they put yeah, them Yeah, 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 right. And it's not, to not have it, it's our president. Right. If you don't like our president, yeah, that's have, fine. Right. I know a lot of people who aren't happy with our presidency, but they're not putting pictures of severed heads on them, you right. moron. No, I, I, I agree with you. Dumb, it was, and it annoys the crap out of me. Right. I agree with you. No, I, I mean, I, I, there was a line crossed that I don't think that you should, not just if and it was a president, but anybody. Nobody right, exactly right. right. But there's so many levels of, of being dumb. It blows my mind. Yeah, it blows both of our minds. And we're, so we're going to go on to the next story because it, we're going to talk mind. about this for an hour and a half. Speaking of blowing my mind, have you heard of the Floor is Lava Challenge? No, I have not, Joe. Would you like to Yes, I, I, I would, I would. This is a challenge where you run into a room... And surprise the folks in the room by telling them the floor is lava. Okay? okay? And within five seconds, if you do not get off of lava, you're going to die. Now, we've all played this game as kids. You don't okay. ever play the game. Like, I remember watching Jaws the first time. I pretended that the carpet was the, the ocean and Jaws and I had to get from couch to couch, the table. Okay. Not, you don't remember right. playing the floor is lava when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. Never ever played that where it was quicksand or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can't pretend so you would, for so, so in other words, like you would you would like right now say the floor is lava. Yeah, the floor is lava. Five be like four, three, two, hold myself one, up, right. right? Right, right? And our producer would be dead because it's floor lava. When can you go back down? I don't know. I don't, See, that no sucks. I can't hold myself up that No, long. but it, 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 these some guys the YouTube guys are doing like it. And then now it, it's become kind of trending. It's actually a big deal now. Really? All different channels are going to do it. Uh, I'm not selling, saying that we're going to sell out and do it, but you might see a video on it next week. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, but it's a funny thing. Like, they'll be walking through a store, and they'll be like, hey, Larry, lava, the floor is lava. Five, four, three, two. And then you got to find a way to get on top of a ledge yeah. or something. So it is funny, and it does bring me back to being a kid. 
Um, it, so it, it is. It is kind of entertaining. It is to be kind 100%. of cool, yeah. But there, you know, there was a lot of lava. You gotta so be careful. Speaking of lava, Hawaii. Yeah, well, we have a couple island guys right now that's going to come on here and do our top ten. From Hawaii? Not from Hawaii. They're island guys. These guys are from the islands, Jamaican. We're jamming. We're jamming. We're jamming. We're jamming with you. Hope you like your jamming too. What I right, we're jamming. We're jamming. We're jamming. Jamming. I hope you wanna jam with me. I messed the words up, doesn't even matter. <laughs> hey man. Hey man. Welcome to the show, man. I'm Spark Me Up. And I'm man. Johnny Blunt, man. Johnny Blunt. We're going to go with the top ten places, man, to get some weed. And the best weed ever. The country's mine. I re man. Love me smoking some ganja. Are you going to start, Mr. Blunt? I will Blunt? start the list here. I will start the list. What do we have first? It's one of my favorites. Colombia. Colombia gold. Oh, we be jamming yeah, in man. Colombia, man. They make me feel easy, easy. You idea, smoke idea, that man. stuff and you see smoking the ladies the smoking the stuff, man. Smoking and everything. Curves, man. Everything going to be all right, man. It's going to be good. I smoke mm -hmm. this stuff. <laughs> I smoke... Some good herb, man, in Nigeria, man. Nigeria, I never been there, man. Mm. Good weed there. That's got the good stuff, man. The skunky bud. Really good stuff, man. Smoking the blunts. Smoking them, man, all day long. I like to go with the original, the one, the only, the Mexico. <gasps> go no other. That's a little bit of man for a little Malta. A oh. little bit of the marijuana. Oh, you they come out and bring you barrels full, man. Oh, you smoke that stuff all night long, smoke man. Smoking the shit, man. You smoke it daytime and nighttime. It doesn't matter, no, I'm man. No, wake up and burn. Wake and oh, bake, brother. Everything is fine, wake man. Wake up and bacon, bro. And then you go to Canada, man. Have you been to Canada? A Canada, a a. Do they drink beer in Canada? They, but they have some good weed, man. The herb there is really spectacular. I feel like we're from the wrong island, man. I'm from the north. <laughs> Sounds like it. Here we go, my number six. In my face, oh, be number one. Oh. The homeland, Jamaica. Jamaica, man. Jamaica, you be crazy it. with the herb they have we going on there. We be smoking it all day. Smoking we're jamming, all day long. We're jamming all night long. What? He smoked a little bit too much I today. Smoked, I many. smoked a lot, man. Do you understand where I'm coming from, brothers? You know, this one, man, I don't know about too much because I haven't really been there. Maybe you have. Where is that? Australia, man. Oh, the land down under. Yeah. They have some good bud there. I've been under, but I've not been down in the land down under. I've been under, under the influence in the land down under. They got some good bud, man. It's not like it is in Jamaica. I don't know why they're ahead of us. Yeah, or in Ireland, for that matter. Our bubs, <laughs> our bobsled team, man, is better than them. You know that, man. No doubt about oh, it. Yeah. The Netherlands, they yeah. have some good green bud. Oh, they have good stuff there, man. Top of the morning, I don't know. What I'm talking <laughs> Netherlands, number three. Number three, man. Why do I got number three, man? <laughs> do you want me to I say it I don't know why, you? but... I'll say it for you. It's Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. It's Kazakhstan. They got some good bud. I haven't been there, man, either. <laughs> <laughs> no. They have a beach, I think. Uh, Afghanistan. They have Afghan Kush. The Diamond Kush. The Afghan Kush. You oh. roll a joint of that stuff, man. It will mess oh, you up for days. Everything going to be all right. Everything going to be all right, all right, man. Oh. Down by that beach. Down by the beach, man. That's where I'm from, down by the beach. Down by the beach. I'm from northern side. Land of mercy. I say, hey, yo. Number one, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Number one, the good old United States, which is not a big deal well, for you, us. You missed the number two. Man. I said number two. You're number one. I forgot. I took your thunder. Thank you. <laughs> Afghanistan. Afghani Kush. Number one, Afghani Kush. the States, man. The United States. They got the best weed of all now. Who the thunk it, man? Who the, I would have Who the man. thunk it? There, man. And, and they have all different kinds. They have, they have all diamond different. Kush, Afghani Kush, Bubba Kush, Bubba Coated OD, OG, Old Diesel, Sour Diesel. 
That's Widow's Web, Black Widow, White Widow. It is the bomb. Mom. Maui Wowie. You smoke yeah, all types of weed, mom. They get crazy there in the United States. You smoke that weed, everything. All Everything's right. gonna be all right, man. Everything is fine. Speaking of smoking some weed, man. Oh, man. I got a, uh, I have a joint here. Oh, man. Oh, smoke here we it. go. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, there it is. Hold on. I can't get it out. Come on. Here you go. Light that up. What'd you call that, man? It's, it's like a joint. A, that's a toothpick, man. That's not a toothpick. That's a. That's a toothpick. That is a toothpick, that's man. That's a toothpick. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the wrong one, man. Let me. Whoa, here we go, man. Here, here we, we go, go man. Start it. Spark it up, man. I <laughs> need. <laughs> I need, I need, man. Yeah, Jamaica. That is good stuff, man. <laughs> oh, man. Choke on that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Everything gonna be all right. Because we be jamming. <laughs> we be jamming all night. Oh, man, it's... It's like a skunk in here. Some like <laughs> shit. Oh, that's supposed to be like a skunk. I don't know what's going on here. What kind of outfit this is. I don't know. I just feel like laughing now all yeah, of a sudden. I'm a little giggly. I'll be honest I don't with know you. what it is. Hey, uh, Larry. <coughs> what? Are you okay, dude? Yeah, I'm all right. I just am happy. You just focus. Okay. <laughs> Bring it in. Those guys were they some were, happy I like guys. I like them. I like them. I like them. So, uh, Kevin Can Wait, the new uh, Kevin James TV yes. show. Yes. We had a story about this a little bit earlier when Leah Remini came in and did a guest spot because Leah Remini and Kevin James were huge in, in uh, King Queens. Right. They actually were on King Queens from 1998 to 2007. Yeah, I watch it all the time. I, I love that show. Rewind. Very funny. I yeah. watch it all the time. Uh, yeah. no, good night. But the actress who played his wife, Erin Hayes, just got fired. Uh uh. You know what else? What? Lee and Remini got hired, baby. They're back together. So he's gonna, she's gonna be his new wife. No, she is replaying her role uh, of Sergeant uh, Vanessa Colucci. Um, she was an undercover cop when she came and did her guest spot. She's reprising okay. that role. Is what they're saying. But I wouldn't be surprised if they just put her but back if, in. If they're firing his wife, they're gonna have to hire another wife. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Like I wouldn't be surprised if either one they wrote her off and she died. Oh, or something. And, then, and yeah. he becomes. My guess when is they they're going to become a love interest, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, that's it, pretty cool. It's a shame for the girl, though. Yeah, Aaron Hayes. A, yeah, it's a shame. Like, well, you can't beat Lady Remedy. No, you can't. And I, I, those two have a chemistry together. Right, so. right. And and I think they came across. So it's pretty exciting they're going to be back together. Hey, Joe. Hey, Larry. Staff at McDonald's reveal what you should never order from the fast food restaurant. From that fast food restaurant. From McDonald's. I'm ready to hear this. <clears throat> All right. Fish fillet sandwiches. Never got them. Well, I have got them. I don't get them to Many work. former workers have said that they would sit out all day long until somebody would come and order one and they would give them that. Yeah, because then we order them. My mother in law oh, orders right. them all the time. Yeah, my mom used to eat them. She loves them. But anyway, I they, really love, they also love said that you should also. not order after 10 p.m. Really? Yeah. Why? Because that's when the managers are counting the money. And doing paperwork as anarchy happens. Like what kind of anarchy? Like they, they put their um, cubes on a sandwich or something? From workers not washing their hands after they go to the bathroom. And dipping the balls in the ketchup. To not putting gloves on. Yeah, it doesn't bother that bad. <laughs> to <So>. dipping the balls. <laughs> <laughs> you never worked in a restaurant? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> to picking up food off the floor. And That's serving. gross. That's gross. Right. So next time you go to McDonald's, remember, everybody, stay away from fish fillet. So there's no managers there after ten o'clock. And don't go over there. If, no, no, they didn't say they weren't there. They're usually counting the money and doing paperwork. So that's when everybody else takes advantage of you know the bosses so and watching. Wait till eleven. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I don't know how long it takes them to do that. Probably not that long. I mean, unless you're idiots. But think about that. It's like you know, have you ever been out late at night and you're like, yeah, no, I've been twenty four hours. Speaking of idiots. You see the shit about Kathy Griffin? <laughs> just kidding. I just wanted to get going again. <laughs> we already did that. 
Well, I know, but no, I, I, I at the 10 o'clock, it's a little bit late. I don't know. I, I used to eat McDonald's late when they were open. They first started opening for 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, but that makes you wonder now. It's like, well, I've always felt that about fast food anyway. It's like, you know. I worked at McDonald's. Did you? I did. What'd you do? Uh, I was in the grill. No, I mean, like, did you ever see anything going on around there? No, because like they had set times. Like, they, you put the food up, and then it would only, it would only sit in the heater for a certain amount of time. And you had to pull them off. Okay. So, and then when somebody ordered a sandwich, like, what you want to do, whenever you get a fast food special order, get something off of it. Okay. Say, I so want get, no they, mustard, or right. I want no onions, and then they have to make it fresh, then you're good to go. So, they're the ones that get a little spit on your roll or something. They're, they're, that, that's all here. So that, no, it's probably the, the, the fact is, is that, <coughs> you know, speaking of facts. that, no, that, that it's, it's probably up. To different places. I mean, there's so many McDonald's. I mean, and these people that they were they were talking to, right? Was one in four people that say in the United States have worked at McDonald's. Right, and what I'm saying is, is that there probably was a few here. a few McDonald's that were like that. The majority are not going to be like that. The majority are going to be safe because managers, you know, are going to keep. There's the night managers. Yeah, there's yeah. probably that period of time at, at, at the manager shift change. Yeah, where they're doing that paperwork. But I mean, don't order fish fillet because they sit there all day. Right, which again. Is because nobody orders them. Right. Why would you make it? You'd probably just sit there. I bet they'd be the freshest sandwich in the bunch. Because why would they be sitting up there taking up space and nobody orders them? Right, but they must. They probably don't get made. They don't take long to cook. I, I guess they had to fry. They probably yeah, did a few minutes. I don't know. It is fast food. So four minutes of fast food. Is a long I didn't work at McDonald's. I thought you did. I did. Did I you totally make did. fish fillet? I, yeah, you fry them. I wasn't in the fryer though. I was in ah. the grill. I cooked the burgers, baby. You cooked the burgers? That's how I roll. Hey, uh, hey, Larry. Hey, Joe. What's up? Now, I want to let you know this because I know that you vacation a lot in North Carolina, and it's very important for me to tell you this. There's a few laws that are in place in North Carolina, and before you go on vacation, Joe, I want to make you aware of them so you don't get arrested. Right? Okay. So, do you know it is against the law to sing off key in North Carolina? So, I don't uh, since you always sing off key, I, I don't sing, sing in sing North Carolina. At all. Well, you don't sing at all because you are always off key. Also, it's illegal to have sex in a churchyard. So remember that. Okay. And it's also illegal to use elephants to plow cotton fields. Elephants to plow cotton fields. Yep. I think I'm pretty safe on right. all of them because okay. I'm not going to sing there. Right. I sing solo anyway. Off key is still solo. And no, I sing solo, you can't hear me. Well, that's, that's news to us. us.